Hi, everyone. I'm Chris Van Tulliken. I'm a doctor in the UK. I'm an infection and global health specialist. Um, I'm an academic at University College London, and I study food and nutrition and the food system. Um, and broadly, what we call the commercial determinants of health, how big industrial sectors affect human health in good ways and in bad ways. My particular focus is infant nutrition. I'm also an author and a broadcaster. And um, the reason I'm making this video for Open Food Facts is because I wrote a book called Ultra Processed People. Why do we all eat stuff that isn't food and why can't we stop? The French title. Can I try the French title? It's, um, it's even better, actually. Ultra Transformé. On mange de la merde et le pire, c'est qu'on on redemande. Uh, forgive my accent. Um, the book is about the food system. The book is about ultra-processed food. The ambition of my book is not to tell you what to eat. In fact, at the beginning of the book, I invite you to eat more ultra-processed food. If you want to understand ultra-processed food, go to Open Food Facts, find some ultra-processed food, and start eating it. And while you eat it, read the ingredients lists, look at the labels, and read information about ultra-processed food understand what its purpose is. And while you're eating, you should remember that um, industrially produced food products are made with the sole and exclusive purpose of taking your money and handing it to usually institutional investors in big food companies. Um, these are not products designed for your health. Um, uh, and and they are really the inevitable um result of the modern industrial food system. They're, they're the main thing that has to be produced. So my book is, is the, the ambition is to reduce the shame and the stigma that come from the modern industrial food system that is taking over in France and Europe. It is already taken over in the UK and Australia, America and Canada, um, uh, with all the sickness it generates. And my, my work is not about saying you must not eat this food. My position is it's very, very hard for people to avoid this food. There are some countries where it's easier, but this food is, is taking over the world. It will continue to take over the world. It will displace all traditional food. Um, I came across Open Food Facts whilst I was researching the book and uh, because many of my academic colleagues um, have been involved with Open Food Facts. It's an incredible resource, and most importantly, it is independent of the food industry. One of the big problems with the power of the modern food industry, which is so powerful, is that they buy everything. They buy the government committees that write about food, so we see this in the UK. They buy all the food charities. Um, they buy the scientific journals. They pay for the scientific research. They pay scientists. They pay influencers like me. Um, so I have been offered... Uh, huge amounts of money by the food industry. Open Food Facts is independent, it's not for profit, um, and so uh, it, <clears throat> it is really about presenting people with information, and that, that's what I'm passionate about. I don't want to ban anything. I think people are entitled to understand if food is harmful and what is in their food, and that is what Open Food Facts does um, so, so brilliantly. So I would urge anyone to support Open Food Facts. I support it personally. I give them my own money because I think it's uh, just such an incredible service and um, I want to, to promote their work and, and try and help ensure that at Open, Foods Facts, Open Food Facts, you can remain independent. Because if I were a big food company, uh, the first thing I would want to do is to buy you all and start slightly changing the information that's given. So um, it's things like Open Food Facts, having more not-for-profits within the food system is so important. Thanks very much for listening and uh, keep up the great work.